What's up? I'll do my flex of the day just because. Wait, hold up. I'll do my flex of the day just because this is like the leanest I've ever looked. Um, so I have been losing weight, at least the last week showed. Uh, so if, you know, I weigh myself every Monday. It's coming up, you know, and I do think I lost even more weight. And uh, I think it's showing, you know, not checking my weight daily is actually fun. You know, because I check it at the end of the week and I'm pretty sure, you know, um, I'm going to do my flex. I think I look a bit more lean in my upper body because when, when I stand for like eight hours, uh... Everything else down, like my legs get a bit swollen. So, um, I mean, it's just what happens. All the fluids and stuff just gonna sit down there. So, boom. Um, again, I'm feeling a, a bit better today. Um, I'm trying to, I don't even like my phone anymore. The, the day after um, and, and the day during and the day after the day after um, I hated my phone you know because what else do I want to see on it there's, there's nothing I want to see now I don't anticipate anything on my phone there's, there's no one you know there's only my girlfriend I want to talk to I don't care if anyone else hits me up So, you know, today I was trying to be better about it. Didn't check my phone all work. So that was eight hours. Get out of work and I check it. And I was actually kind of disappointed, you know. It was all just boring things, you know, like routine. Not even an email. I have this one app that'll give me a random word every few hours that I probably have never heard of. It's like a word of the day kind of app. And that's like it in Duolingo. You know, it's kind of disappointing, but, uh, you know, I need to get over that because it's a little dopamine hit every time I, uh, you know, do it, you know, it's whatever. I'm just trying to get rid of dopamine because I know that that is what hinders, can hinder my success. You know, I've been getting rid of things I enjoy, right? And of, you know, overall that's happened more and more as my self-improvement journey went on. You know, but if I have a wide circle of things that give me dopamine and I enjoy, getting rid of them one by one, it confines the circle, but I just find more in, in this center. If I get rid of all of it, then there's nothing left and I don't need any dopamine, you know? Um, you know, you can't get rid of everything, you know? There's gonna be something, whether it's the food you eat, you know, whatever. It's about controlling it. Um, and yeah, so I've been, the mornings are the worst. The mornings I just wake up and, you know, the first kind of things that I think are, oh, right, my life doesn't have her in it anymore. I won't be expecting her, you know? And it's also like, oh, I wonder if she texted me, which, you know, I, I shouldn't, um, think that I need to be better with my phone um but you know then she doesn't and I'm like whatever and then in my live stream in the morning I also talk about it a bit more because kind of what's on my mind you know but the mornings are the worst um because I'm only thinking about her but when I think about my ambitions and the reason why I decided to be single and focus on myself um it gets easier you know work was pretty bad in the beginning because I've been wanting to go to work ever since I broke up with my girlfriend you know just take my mind off of her and just distract myself you know but it was actually worse at work you know um I felt like if I had some music that's been stuck in my head all day from a, a playlist that my girlfriend made then I, I probably would, would have been capable of crying but I, I didn't cry today actually so I'm breaking the streak. 
It was four days. It was a good run. But uh, I had to stop. And I, I don't think I'll cry again. Unless maybe someone, like, gives me a hug or something. But, yeah, at work, because I, I imagine it's because I was in a familiar scenario. You know, when I'd be at work, I would be waiting for my girlfriend. You know, I'd be at work and I'd be like, oh, I wonder if, if you know, I got used to just waiting for her to text me, you know, because I wouldn't know where she'd be and I'd kind of just be waiting. So I guess it was familiar to my mind. And so that made me pretty sad because she'd also be what I think about all shift. And there was the same kind of thing. Like when you're not doing anything, I didn't, I'm trying to get over music to just become detached from all these things. TV shows, like I watch anime. I stopped that so far. Music, you know, just detaching myself from the things that don't matter. I've been into politics, honestly. Um, it's been pretty, it's been my new entertainment um, and the news. But, um, you know, what do I think about? She's like, what I think about is nothing else to really distract me. That'll change with time, you know? And I actually deleted the texts I sent because I don't think she saw them. When I followed up, you know, and I was like, okay, like I was, when I was basically like, do you never want to talk? Or like, you know, just like, let me know. You know, I, I don't think she saw it. So I got rid of it. I sent those when I was emotional, you know, and uh, the rational me is coming back. You know, you're supposed to put your worry and anxiety in, into God, into God's hands. And I'm pretty good with it for the most part. I'm like, you know, with, with this ambition and all these things that I want to start doing, it's like, I know I'll, I'll make it because I've God on my side. You know, like, I'm thinking that, like, I, I'll do what I can now and God will do the rest, you know. But with my girlfriend, it's different because it's like, I loved her. I still do love her. You know, I'll be the first one to say that. No one needs to call me out for it. I still love her. I've said it before. Which is why it's so tough for me. Um, but it's hard to put it in God's hands and be like, okay, I made the right decision. Because that choice was up to me. Uh, I would often pray that no matter what happens between the two of us, that both of us end up better people on the other side. And while that probably that's probably the case in this scenario, you know, and how we ended up breaking up, I made the choice. You know, there were no, God didn't force me out of anything. She didn't break up with me. It was none of that. I made the choice, you know, um, while the factors might have been in God's hands or whatever, I bared the weight of that choice. You know, so to me, if what I chose doesn't work out, then it's like, I'm a fucking idiot. I, I can't swear. I'm an idiot. I just choose not to swear in these videos. And, you know, if I was right, then I was right. But it, all of it feels like it's on my shoulders. Because it is, you know, I have to choose to work every day or do, uh, do what will get me closer to my goals. Um, so it is all in my hands, whether it was worth it or not is up to me completely. You know, God can give me the strength to do it, but I do it at the end of the day. So, yeah, um, I was hoping... I was hoping, uh, I don't know, because I'll be honest, I didn't want to act normal. I didn't want to act fine. I didn't want to act my stupid normal self. I wanted to act like something was wrong. You know, I, I just wanted, I didn't want to act like that, but I, I wanted to be like that. But it's so easy for me to just basically get coerced into acting normal. And especially when everyone else is acting normal and treating me normally. Um... You know, I wanted to act all sad and, you know, whatever. But there were a few times that, like, when I first got into work, I was genuinely, like, not in a good headspace. Um, 
And there were a few times when my girlfriend was actually brought up, you know, because a few people know, you know, um, my manager asked, how was your 4th of July? I was like, it was just another day. And he was like, you didn't spend it with your girlfriend? And I just had to lie. You know, I didn't want to just say, um, oh, I actually broke up with her just a few days ago. You know, so I was like, uh, we don't talk every day. Our schedules are mixed up. And she lives a few towns over. Which, I mean, it just happened, you know. I didn't have that plan in mind. I didn't think I was going to have to bring it up. You know, and then my friend um, from high school who I work with, um, I don't know, it came up and he was like, what does she look like? And I, I've never seen her in person, you know, because we're long distance. I have to preface that every single time. Judge me how you want, but you know, I loved her. Still do. For who she was. You know, that was all that mattered to me. Because the person I knew, I believe was true. Um, you know, and no, it's not just like, oh, I've never seen her. I have a lot of reason. It's, it's, it's more than just reason, literal proof that she is the person that she portrayed. Like, it, don't even, don't even get on my case. Like, I've literally been on FaceTime with her several times. You don't fake that. Like, what? I, I, I don't know. I just assume everyone's going to bring that up. But literally, no. Um, it's like, what does she look like? So I was like, what does five foot look like? I was like, and then I was like, that's, wait, that's kind of short. I don't know. I don't know five foot. Um, the manager who asked me, the other question was five too, and he's a dude. So I was like, oh yeah, I guess it makes sense. Yeah, like here. Um, which is a shame, because you know, I'll be honest, when I think about having lost her, I think about what I lost, not who I lost. Not, not exactly. I lost her and I miss her, but her face doesn't come to my mind. The times we shared is what comes to mind. You know, and then I was, when I did that, I started thinking about, you know, what she looked like. And, you know, like, um, just picturing us, which I don't do often again, you know. I fell in love with the times we had and the person I talked to. I'm not saying I didn't see her, but, you know, that's what I was in love with. So, as weird as it may sound, you know. But, um, yeah, it kind of threw me off. And then he brought, it, he brought it up again at, like, towards the end of the shift. He was like, um, we've never seen a picture of her. You know, he just, like, he's, he's, he acts very stupid, but he's smart, I think. Like, he, he acts very stupid. Like, if you saw him, it's not just, like, being stupid. It's being, like, stupid. Like, he'll just, like, look at you and start doing turkey noises. And uh, he's, he's weird, but it's cool, you know? Very eccentric person. Um, he's, like, talking to someone else. He's like, we've never seen a picture of his girlfriend. So there's a 50-50 chance that they're actually dating. And I was like. I just said yes, because that's, that's what I do sometimes. I don't always hear him, so I'm just like, yes. And then I actually understood what he said, and I was like, like, yeah, they haven't seen what she looks like. I deleted all the pictures of her already. Um, doesn't mean I couldn't dig one out. But um, it's like, yeah, that, that wasn't a lie. There is a 50-50% chance we're dating. Because we're not dating anymore. So. I don't know. 
I don't know why it came up so much. If I had to drive my coworker home that I've been driving home, I imagine I was probably going to talk to her about it. You know, she'd probably ask, and she'd be someone I wouldn't lie to just because I enjoy. Um, I enjoy our car talks. Car talks are always nice. You know, that's where you get deep. That's where you get real. At least for me. That's kind of what car talks have always been with people. Just um, talking about different things you're more comfortable with, you know, deeper and how you actually feel instead of being around other people, you know, just one-on-one. -on -one. Um, and I said before, she might like me. I'm not interested at all. You know, it, it wouldn't matter the woman. I'm not interested. And I mean it. I need to focus on myself. Because there's a lot to do. I just need to be persistent. It's easy to think of all the time that's passed for me. Like, oh, today's, a day went by. I probably wasn't the most productive I could have been with it. You know, and, and feel bad and, and be like, oh, I started my self-improvement journey two years ago, which is still crazy. It's only been two years. Like literally this month, it turned two years, which is insane to me. That it, you know, a day feels so short, but two years feels so long. But you know, like I have many years ahead of me, many, uh, where I'd still consider myself the same me. Meaning like when I'm 50, that's a different me. You know, there's some things I can't do. There's some things I probably won't chase because I'll be different. Um, but you know, when I'm 24, 20s, um, 30s, you know, earlier 30s, I should still be the same me chasing after the same things, you know, or at least broaden my horizon, but still be able to do the things I chase. But yeah, I'm uh, getting over it a day at a time. Eventually, I gotta stop talking about this. You know, I'm not gonna forget it if I keep talking about it. That's what I thought about earlier. I was like, if I keep talking about it here, I'm not gonna forget it. If I'm supposed to be talking about my day and she's just been on my mind. That that eight mile run I had the other day was very fun, actually, when I think back on it. I wanna run that same route again and destroy myself again. Um, you know, hopefully I just hydrate better and you know, whatever, be smarter. Uh, hydrate better, not not exactly more. But, you know, bring extra in case because I ran out of water at the very end. And the times that I do do it, the times that I do drink water. Because I did have to take several stops for when I drink water because, you know, then spend like 10 minutes chilling out or whatever. So, uh... You know, it doesn't give me kidney cramps. Um, I was actually out there for like three hours running. It was fun. I liked the route because um, there was no going back. There was a point, not that I ever would have really turned back, but I was like, I'm going to make it past five miles. I only plan on running five miles. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I have to, I'm like looking at this since I have to run all there. Even if I turned back at this point I'm still going past five miles like you got to stick to it but I would love to uh actually run that that area better you know <laughs> and uh I would really like to listen to that playlist while I do it my girlfriend's playlist it's a recommendation of the day another song from the playlist just been stuck in my head even though I didn't listen to it today. I listened to a few songs this morning. But Are We Still Friends by Tally the Creator. My girlfriend put that in the playlist. And it's one of those ones that stick out to me and make me very sad. Just like the ones that I said the past few days. And one thing I'm grateful for. Um, River for that course that I ran. It's a very interesting place. The 
can't say why, because it kind of give away where I live, sort of. Or, you know, it, it uh, trim it. But, you know, there's a ton of, um, I mean, it's not the most scenic of a place. I, I wish that I just had, like, when I think of, like, Ireland or something, just, like, a track and then hills or, like, the countries, the, like, the countryside, kind of, you know? Uh, I wish I had a place like that. That'd be really cool, a nice scenic place to run. But, you know, it was as scenic as I could get in my area. <laughs> but then I was thinking later, like, bro, I could have gotten mauled by a bear. Like, I've seen a black bear in my backyard before. So, especially when I'm tired, I'm not outrunning a bear. No one's outrunning a bear. Unless it's obese. But... It's fun. I want to do it again. I want to destroy myself again. My legs are still messed up. Matter of fact. And I should uh, massage them tonight. It felt a bit better. I ran a bit when I walked my dog this morning. When Yesterday I tried to do that. And yeah, not happening. I did it a bit today. You know, just get the blood pumping in the legs. Continue my recovery. Cold showers. Massaging. Stretching. I do all that. Cold showers are kind of overrated though. Ice baths would ice baths would work a lot better. But I find that it's a big inconvenience to fill it up with water every day and then get a new thing of ice every day. Or however that works. I don't know I don't know what people do, but if I'm all dirty and sweaty and then I get in an ice bath, I don't know how many times I'm gonna reuse that bath. Maybe like twice. Depends on how long you sit in there. I mean you're not really bathing. I'm just, I'm just indulging in jibber jabber at the moment. But yeah, um, I want money, man. I'm dead broke. Literally spent my last dollar on my semester yesterday, where I'm gonna be taking two courses and I paid a thousand three hundred dollars for it. And it's a community college, you know. Um, but, you know, other, like, everything else should be getting covered by uh, financial aid. And I still have to pick my classes for the fall because now I have to change them because I changed my major. The classes officially start on the 8th or the 7th. I don't know. So I'm going to be busy with that as well. So I'm going to be making less progress on uh, everything else. You know, like YouTube, I guess. I'll try my best, but I'll have to put more time into where it matters. Like, YouTube will probably get more of my time than coding, to be honest, when I get to that. But, yeah. I feel kind of, like, I feel guilty talking about my girlfriend this many days. Like, when's the new stuff going to come out? Like, I'm going to struggle to name it. Just because it's going to be like kind of similar to the other names. But I don't blame it. You know, it hasn't even been that long. We're over there on a Tuesday, I think. Or a Monday. When was it? It was the second, I think. So Tuesday night. Yeah. Tuesday night. Hasn't even been a week, you know. And I'm doing all right. You know, it's been better. Still sad without her, but, you know, it is very easy for me to forget all the times I was lonely and, you know, all the times that I doubted whether she'd actually be the one, you know. Um, you know, having doubts in the first place, I guess, was a red flag. You know, because if I'm having doubts then what are those doubts going to look like in time? You know? But it wasn't reason enough for me to leave. Though. I still love her. And I still would love to get back together with her when, it, when it's a better time for me. You know, I still do want to talk to her. You know, set the record straight. Know how she's feeling, how she's taking it. If she's just moved on already. But I need to keep most of that out of my mind. I need to be a better man. 
and it's time to get serious with them. So, peace.